Okay, in this video we're going to be looking at the buttons. So we've done the banner, buttons next. Now, if they have a logo in the assets folder, it means they want you to use that. That should be your indicator as to what colour schemes you, can, you should go for. So this is just an example from a past exam paper. I'm just focusing on these small little elements. And, and it's quite nice when you have these kind of colours because really you can see that it's orange and blue. But they do have green and red in there as well if we want to use it. And you can even use some of the colours that they have and you'll find that there's a link between the, the images that they have with the logo that they use as well. There'll be some kind of relevance, there's some, some house style, something that matches what they're going for. Um, so what we're going to do is obviously we're going to keep these in mind and make, make uh, buttons from the logo. Now I know it's been a while, so I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to go to Fireworks. And we're going to basically create three buttons. Now we need to create uh, the right sizes for that. So the only way you can do that in the real exam is by asking yourself, what is the width for my my um, my website? And then divide by three. So first things first, create new fireworks document PNG. And what I need to do is I'm going to get the calculator open for you. Just go to start menu here, all programs, accessories, and look for calculator. Okay. And we just type in 1366 divided by 3. If it's two buttons, divided by 2. If it's four buttons, divided by 4. Simple. And I'm going to get 455. Just going to, I'm just going to type in 455. Simple. So take that off. 455. Height, I'm going to go for 100 for now. Resolution, keep it as that. Keep it white, press OK. There you go. Nice and simple. Now, to get a 3D design, you need to have a square, a rectangle. So, move this little thing down here, you can see, rectangle. If you see something else, just click and hold, you see all these different shapes. Look for the rectangle and just draw it out to fill the shape. There you go. Now, the one we can't tell anything because it's the same colour as the background itself. So, what we need to do is we're going to go down here to the bucket and choose the colour that you want. But we can't do that right now because we don't know what the colour actually is. So, the best thing to do is to go back to... Dream Weaver, where your logo is, there it is. And what we can do is basically try and figure out what the colour is from here. So what I might go for is, uh, because I see a lot of orange here and orange there, I'm going to go for an orange background, blue writing, and then reverse it. So what we can do is go in here, and you can see the BG here. If you click that, it gives you a little colour picker. So you can then move that across over here, and you can see, as I move my picker on top of the S, it gives me the code for it there. Now, of course, if you're in the exam paper and they, they tell you to use a specific color, type that code in. If they don't, use, a, you, use your initiative and use it. get it from the logo like this. So the color I'm going to go for is double F9933. Okay, so I'm going to just leave it as that there. Go back over here, double F9933. So over here, double F9933. There it is, press enter, done. Now, to get the 3D de uh, design, you go down to Filter, um, Bevel, Emboss, Inner Bevel. There you go. Nice, simple button uh, design. And now we just need the text. So we'll go in here. And normally, I would say get a text that would match whatever the logo is here. Now, that's going to be hard to do because it's not going to be precise. Now, I'm going to try my best. Uh, but if you have time, that is. If you don't have time, if you're panicking, just pick something that's easy to read. It's better to have something that you can read even if it doesn't match it precisely and you can then talk about it in your evaluation and say that even though you pick something that's easy to read, easy to access and use, um, it's not consistent with the logo and the design. If you had time, you'd go for something more consistent. So, so drag out a box after clicking the T and then go into here and just find something that matches. And like I said, if you can't keep it simple, like an Arial. Arial is always a very safe uh, font to go for. So look here. All right, so I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm just going to go for Arial just because I don't want to waste time. So I'm going to go here. There it is. And I'm going to just call this one home. And that's only because we're using this as an example. Now, in the exam, again, the name of the web pages will be on the paper. Look at the paper and type it in as they say. And remember, this is just for the adult pages, not the child pages, okay? So, um, now we need to do this colour. The colour for this 
is going to be from here on the right next to the number 36. Now I'm going to make this larger in a moment, but first things first, go back and find the color. Same thing. Click on the cell here, go to BG, hover over this, get the number. 0066CC. So back over here. Go here. Double O, no, the other one, double O, C, C, six, six. No, did I type that in wrong? I did, didn't I? My memory is appalling. I'll just put that back to where it was. Double O, six, six, C, C, that's what I meant to say. Double O, six, double O, six, six. Double O sixty six CC. Now you're allowed to make notes in the exam, so you you don't have to do what I'm doing right now, which is trying to remember. You can just type it in, and so you write it, make a note of this on your exam paper, so you don't forget. Now, if I click away, that should be. Oh, it hasn't saved for some reason. Let's go back in again. O O sixty six CC. Enter. There we go. That's more like it. And let's make it a little bit larger as well. So you can just type it in. Enter. Yeah, that's a decent size. And then just push it back in, bang in the middle. There we go. And we can even add a fill to this as well. So we can go to um, bevel. And maybe we can do an inner bevel. Make a 3D. Or, if you don't like that, I'm going to click on that, delete it. Do an outer bevel. Nope, that looks horrible. Maybe a shadow. Let's try a shadow. That's not bad, but um, it's a bit too much. So what I might do is just reduce the number. There we go. And make that a two. There we go. Um, but just have a look, basically. If you don't like it, you can always leave it as it is or just find something else. Um, no, I don't like that either. Yeah, that'll be. So I'm happy with that. Click away, make sure it's nice and simple. File, save as, because we're on Fireworks. I'm going to keep this as PNG as well. But again, find the folder, make sure it goes into the correct place. And I'm going to go in here, but I'm going to create a buttons folder here so it's nice and organized. And this is going to be home page one. Save. And then all you have to do now is rather than remake everything, just go inside, double click, and then just type in the next page. Now, because this is make believe, we're just going to create one. I'm just going to call this um, about us page. Yeah. File, save as, and I'm going to just put about us page one. Simple, that's your second button done. And then delete that and put, um, what else can we call this? Um, gallery page, simple. Click away, file, save as. Notice how I click away so it sets it down. Save as. Gallery page one, save. Now to make the second versions, all I would do simply is reverse the colors. So I'm gonna click on the background and I'm gonna go here and choose a color here. So you can see it's 0066CC, right click, done, perfect. And then we're gonna click on the writing and the change, change the color of this. Now I can't remember what it was, so I'm gonna go back, click on BG and go over this. It is double F9933. Double F ninety nine thirty three. Double F ninety nine thirty three and press enter. There you go. Click away, file, save as. Now since we've got this gallery page here, you may as well do this one. I'm gonna just change the one to a two and save and then do the next as well. So we've got um, home page, file save as on page one, there it is. Just make the one to a two. Save. 
And the last one about us page. File save as about us. Just going to click on it. The reason why I click on it, boys and girls, is if I do that, you'll notice that the title goes across. So it only saves me time from having to type it all up and just put the two in there instead. Done. Now, once that's done, we simply need to come over here and insert it. Insert image rollover image now if you don't have time or if you're struggling to do two versions just do one version yeah and just make make sure when you insert it just go to insert image okay you may not get full marks but at least you'll get some if you're struggling for time if you can't remember to do two versions just do one for those of you who want the higher marks you do two versions and you get higher marks you go to image objects and do rollover and simply find the button so i'm going to go back buttons page and I'm going to choose home page first. Home page, there you go. Say no to that. Home page two, done. Yep. I'm going to call this home page oh, button. There we go. Oh. There we go. And give a description. Now, this is a very simple home page button just say that and you can put the color in there if you have time done next one i'm going to zoom out a little bit there we go drag this in and in fact to be honest i'm going to merge all these together because i don't want any gaps between them so i'm going to go to table and merge and go inside there we go insert and do this for every single one Okay, so I've just done all three. I'm about to save it now. Control and S, and then I'm going to go back to here. Have a look at it here. Refresh, and you'll see I've got all three buttons, and they are interactive. I've not connected them yet, but you can see the color schemes match perfectly. The orange looks all nice. It fits in. There's consistency. There's a house style, so therefore you'll get full marks. And notice, because I've merged the cells, there's no gaps in between them, and that's exactly how I want it.